Lightning is dangerous. It can start fires. It can destroy trees, cut power to huge areas of cities. And at worst, it can kill people or livestock. Lightning is the single biggest danger in storms. It's as fascinating as it is deadly. Lightning is a naturally occurring electrostatic discharge during which two electrically charged regions in the atmosphere or ground temporarily equalize themselves, causing the instantaneous release of as much as one gigajoule of energy. That's enough energy to power your house for almost nine days. Lightning is created by the separation of charges within the cloud by the movement of ice crystals and grapple. When grapple particles collide, they produce smaller ice crystals. Grapple particles tend to accumulate a negative charge while the ice crystals accumulate a positive charge. Because the ice crystals are more easily blown upwards in the storm, they tend to collect up on the top of the storm while the grapple particles are in the bottom. And that separation of charges, well, nature wants to balance that out. That balancing act what you see, talk about lightning. What you see in the sky is the exact same thing as what happens when you get an electric shock from touching a doorknob just on a much larger scale. Things can get dangerous when it strikes the ground. How does that happen? This is gonna get very complicated. First, charges separate in the clouds, then, a channel of negative charge comes out of the bottom of the cloud towards the ground, a stepped leader. These often split, creating a tree-like pattern. The stepped leader induces positive charge channels to rise from tall objects and the ground. When the two channels connect, a massive movement of electrons begins. There's a large drop in resistance along the entire channel and the negatively charged electrons travel down the conduit to the ground. The electrons can travel at a third the speed of a light. The electrons then travel away from the strike point in every direction and cause huge voltage differences in short areas called step potentials. These cause more deaths than anything else in the lightning stroke. Electricity can travel up one leg, across the heart, and down the other, creating heart attacks in victims. So when it comes to lightning safety, what's your best bet? Well, we have a saying, when thunder roars, go indoors. And if you can't go indoors, you can jump in the car. Now, are you safe in the car? Yes, you are. You're actually really safe from the lightning. But is it the rubber tires? No, it's not the rubber tires. See, the lightning just jumped, whoa, just like that, from that cloud down, no problem. It can have no, it will have no issue whatsoever jumping from here down to the ground. So what it actually is, is the Faraday cage effect. It's the, it's the metal skin around your car that prevents the lightning from hitting you inside your car. So you don't want to be standing outside when the lightning is going.